Hello, everyone, and welcome to the disclaimer. This is Jill. I wanted to let you know a few things about this podcast and talk about what we're going to discuss in the course of this podcast. Part of me thinks because it's a religious topic, people will be more forgiving if mistakes are made or something like that. But then I also realized that people can be very touchy about things because it is important. It is matters of faith and religion and the Bible. So I just wanted to lay down a few facts about this. Is that first of all, all the materials that I cover in this podcast, whether it's a book, an author, a magazine article, historical person, that doesn't mean I endorse them. I know anything about them, their past lives. I'm also not certifying them as a perfect human being. There's only one perfect human being, and that was Jesus. Even if we talked about St. Augustine, he led a pretty rough life. So there's nothing I can do that can ensure what people have done in the past, what they will do in the future, or even if I talk about a particular concept that's in a particular book, that might not mean I endorse everything they've ever said about faith, about their theology. I, one, probably don't know it all. And two, I probably can't talk about anything if I were to have to cover every person that we discuss on this podcast's entire life. And I know that none of us can throw the first stone and that we are all in the same boat as flawed human beings. The second point I want to talk about is I'm just a human being, too. If I say something that's wrong, the wrong way it's said, I'm not making necessarily doctrinal arguments or debates. Sometimes when you talk on a podcast, it flows. And so you can say things that are mistake worthy. You know, just like any person who says something. I don't have a theology degree. I've never taken any official classes other than a lot of research on my part. I read a lot. I read all the time. I listen to hundreds of podcasts a week. And so I try to do a very good job. I feel like I'm pretty educated about some things, some things I'm not very educated about. But I do the best I can as a layperson trying to make sense of the Bible and hoping that it helps you make sense of the Bible and your Christian walk as well. I'm very serious about the Bible. I believe the Bible is truth and true. I am someone who takes it seriously and takes my faith seriously. But the point of this podcast, too, is that we're not really going to talk about doctrinal themes. We're not a Bible lesson class as much as we're going to talk about, like my other podcast, real life applicable situations, whether it's fear, Christian living, how to study the Bible, different tools that you can use in technology to study the Bible. We'll talk about our Christian walk. I hope that I speak truth. I hope that the topics I cover are true. I'm not here to settle any sort of doctrinal debates. This is supposed to be a practical, small steps to your goals, small steps to better Christian living podcast. And I believe that all the good work that has been done for our salvation came from Jesus directly. If I say anything that makes it sound like any other work other than Jesus' work on the cross is there for our salvation, I don't mean it. Every once in a while, you find yourself, I found myself in the first couple podcasts saying, well, I came to Christ with the help of a friend. And what I mean by that is that my friend told me about Jesus, that my friend brought me to her pastor, told me about her faith, told me about her family praying for me. It doesn't mean that I believe her work brought me to faith, saved my soul, or anything like that. It gets into some really messy language once you start talking about justification from anything other than Jesus. I always mean that Jesus is the sole good for our salvation and did the complete work in saving us. Nothing else can. The first three podcasts are a little bit different than the other podcasts because essentially I'm trying to set up this framework in episode one that we're on a journey together from paradise to paradise. And as we go through this journey together, we're supposed to invite all the other people to come on this journey with us. Then the second episode is talking about our starting point, which is Eden. And the third podcast is going to be where we're we going, heaven, paradise to paradise. After that point, when we hit episode four and beyond, it will normalize into more of the topics we're going to talk about. Again, Christian living, fear, how to have a positive life, how to clean out some of those things that you've been struggling with your whole life and to use faith to help you. 
prayer life, and all the other things that a lot of Christian living books discuss. Even again, the historical items. So keep in mind that these first three podcasts are a little bit different than what the rest of the episodes of the podcast will be. If I say something that's wrong, you can give me a little bit of grace and a little bit of forgiveness. You can always email me at jill at smallstepswithgod.com. Find me on Twitter. All those things you can find on my website. I will pray for you. I will answer questions. If you have any questions about what it is I was trying to say, and maybe I messed it all up, please just ask me. I'm happy to answer questions. So please let me know if you have any questions. I'm always here to answer them. Thanks so much. Have a great week, and I hope you enjoy the podcast. As always, please subscribe, tell a friend, and let me know any feedback that you have. You can also do that by leaving a review. Have a great week, and God bless you all.